Todd Dickerson here with Top Dog, getting ready for Storm Petra, February 19th, 2019. We're expecting five to eight inches of snow here tonight and in the morning. Quarter inch of ice to follow that. In preparation, we've uh, pre-treated all the ramps, cargo areas, taxi lanes, and the hangars with E36 potassium acetate. We've also delivered a bunch of brine yesterday to some other customers sprayed all the parking lots, expressway, and the Dulles Toll Road today, approximately 60,000 gallons. And we're just getting ready to see what Petra brings us. My name is Matt, I'm with Top Dog Services, operations supervisor here. Today's February 19th. We're getting ready to kick off our pre-treatment operations. We've got several different operations going on today. One is the pre-treating of brine that goes on the whole interior and exterior roads of the airport. And then later today, we'll be doing the uh, acetate spray on the airfield for United Airlines. With this truck, we can spray about 6,500 gallons per tank. And on a full pre-treat like we're doing today, we can spray anywhere from three to four entire tanks throughout the whole process. So, it's a lot. Yeah, we're just out here doing some pre-treat for Dulles Airport. We're doing salt brine pre-application that usually lasts for about the first one to two inches of snow so that we kind of get ahead of the accumulation. We do about 150 lane miles of pre-treatment, including the Dulles Airport Access Road and the Dulles Toll Road and then as well as all of the roads at the airport. And for a full brine like this, it usually takes about six, seven hours, something like that. So these are our runway blowers that we use for bigger snows. We use these in parking lots and up at the terminals and on highways to load dump trucks, clear clover leaves and shoulders. As you can see, we got a nice windrow of snow here. So they've asked us to blow it down into the drainage ditch. Uh, these blowers will handle, handle anywhere between 3,500 tons and 5,000 tons an hour. And you can see this one has a loading chute for the dump trucks. Hey, my name is Ryan Knapp here at Top Dog. Or actually, I'm here at Dulles Airport on February the 20th. We are actively in snow removal process. Been at it since like midnight. Uh, been pretty good snow so far. I think we've had maybe four or five inches and What's your talk, cowboy? it's been non-stop for us. We've uh, been pretty good grinding. Hi guys, Chad Tulek here, Top Dog Services at Dulles Airport. Uh, we're here on the south side of C&D gates. You'll see the guys are pushing everything into a pile. We bring 10, 15 gates together into one big pile. We then will load that pile into off-road trucks and those off-road trucks haul it to, we have a big stockpile area over on the south side of the airfield that um, everybody goes, dumps all their snow there, and obviously Mother Nature takes care of it from there. We just get it from the gates to there, and it's all good. Hi, my name's Tommy, and uh, I'm running the Blue Blades. This uh, right here pushes all the snow into a pile, and then the push boxes get it. Um, they get what I miss. Um, then he got the smaller ones that kind of give it out to me. Um, I can't reach under these, uh, these bridges, so I gotta get the uh, gotta get the smaller uh, John Deere's to push them out, and I go ahead and push them out into uh, to the push boxes, and then they push them into a pile. Todd Dickerson here, wrapping up Storm Petra. Got 4.7 inches here at Dulles uh, this morning and this afternoon. A lot more ice than we were expecting, so we had to mobilize some blowers to blow the piles and windrows down into some storage drains. Uh, had the melters going, dump trucks hauling, pretty much full gamut today for us here at Dulles. I'm over at Reagan, we were uh, deployed and we assisted, they got approximately three to four inches of snow, so we assisted them with some uh, loaders and some dump trucks, and then out of Tipton Airport we got approximately three to four inches where we uh, ensured that their runways and their taxiways were cleared um, upon completion of wrapping up this event. We'll uh, get right back into uh, servicing all our equipment, getting uh, everything back up in order, and uh, ensure we're ready for the next up upcoming storm, possibly next week.